My name is Kyle Weehy, and I'm the technical director at the Orlando Rep. This is actually my first experience with the show Newsies. I have never seen any of the recordings, the broader recordings, the tour recordings, and I had never read the script or heard any of the music up until this show. It's different because it's such a high profile show just coming off the Broadway and the tour. They have these grand kind of visions of what the sets that they've seen look like. And so we have to kind of, you know, meet expectations. The largest and most complicated set piece in Newsies is the large platform structure that you'll see up against the wall. It's the tallest thing that we've ever built in that space. And it's complicated in the fact that there are acting levels that people are gonna be dancing on 20 feet in the air. Big platform structures are one of my favorite things to build just because it's kind of like big tree houses. I think that people might not realize just the level of detail and time that goes into everything, especially in this show in regards to paint. The floor, if you look at the floor, it's beautiful. Uh, it's all newsprint, but still has to be kind of fuzzy, illegible newsprint. So just the kind of the planning and the process of all of that, that took quite some time. It's, it's not necessarily harder, it's just different being in the thrust theater because you have to think about all different sides of an object. Especially with this one where there's big wagons, so scenic elements come all the way down stage. So we have to think about that every side of every object is going to be visible. Probably the biggest challenge is just the scale of everything and the amount of things that there are. We're trying to do a show that's significantly larger than our typical shows here at the Rep, but keeping that within the same timeline as a standard build. Uh, over the course of our build and tech, it's going to take about 1,800 working hours to build and paint the set for Newsies. Uh, right now we have anywhere from, I'd say, five to eight people working in the shop. That's including carpenters, welders, and painters. We are one of the first in the country, uh, definitely the first, one of the first in the southeast to do this show. So it's a big opportunity for the theater and for all of our patrons.